So the first homework problem for chapter four is asking for the hydraulic radius for a trapezoidal channel that has a five foot base. That's kind of, everything got a little compressed on this printout, so I'll just rewrite this. Five foot base, uh, two to one side slopes, that worked out okay, and then six feet deep, six feet deep. So remembering what we know about our trapezoidal channels and the formulas we derived um, based on similar triangles and Pythagorean theorem, we can label our channel with different variables and then use those variables to derive equations for area, a wetted perimeter, the top width of the channel if we need it, and the hydraulic radius. This time we're looking for hydraulic radius, so we're going to want to find the area and the wetted perimeter. Um, so when we define things, we can define this base of the channel as B, the depth of the water as Y, um, this side slope horizontal component uh, to one, that horizontal component is called capital M. And once we know those variables, we'll be able to use that to use this formula for area, formula for wetted perimeter, and then find hydraulic radius by dividing area by wetted perimeter. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and solve this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on another page here so I can work this out. Okay, so in this case, my variables are uh, my uh, bottom width of my channel, which I'm going to call B, has five foot base, so that is my B. Um, I know it's got a depth of flow of six feet. And then it has the two to one side slope, so that two becomes my N. Okay, and so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and solve for that area. And so the area is going to be BY plus MY squared. And so my B here is 5 feet. My Y is 6 feet. My M is 2. And then again, my Y is 6 feet, and I'm going to square that. So that's going to get me a total area of 102 square feet. And then let's go ahead and follow the formula for uh, wetted perimeter. That's going to be the base of that trapezoidal channel plus 2 times y times the square root of 1 plus m squared. So in this case, I define b as 5 feet plus 2 times that 6 foot depth times the square root of 1 plus 2, and then we're going to square that m. So I do the math out for that, and to two decimal places, I get 31.83 feet. So once I've gotten that far, all I need to do to find that hydraulic radius is to take that area and divide it by the wetted perimeter. So in this case, it's 102 square feet, and I'm going to divide it by this 31.83 feet. When I do that math, I wind up with a hydraulic radius to one decimal place of 3.2 feet. And that is my final answer for homework problem chapter 4, number 1.